drive that is not running right now. This is our main display that says output frequency on it. All right, if we want to run this pump locally, we're going to hit the local remote button once, and then we're going to hit the run button, which will turn red, and then the pump will run. And we adjust the speed by using this round dial. Whatever I pick here as a speed, hit escape, and it's going to ramp up to that speed. I'm hitting stop now because I don't want to screw up the system. I don't know if two pumps can run at the same time. But that's your simple local mode, how to run it. When you hit this local remote button and this local mode button is not lit, you are in auto, which means everything is controlled 100% by the BMS. The start, stop, and your speed comes through there. So if I hit the mode button once, it gets me to set up. If I hit enter, this is basically all the setup data of the drive. We have our Excel time, decel time, upper limit, lower limit, uh, stuff for trimming the speed signal, and we're set up for variable torque, and there's our thermal protection. That's the full load amps of our motor. So this is just a quick setup. If I hit escape, it brings me back to setup. If I hit mode, this gets me through all the parameter groups in the drive. I'll discuss each one of them, but I'm not going to go into in depth with them because you're already programmed. There's nothing you should be uh, messing around with in here. If I hit mode again, this brings me to program search. And again, if I rotate the dial, this brings me to all the parameters. We have a direct access group, fundamental one, fundamental two, which is all basic um, hertz and voltages of the drive. Again, it's all been set up. All that stuff's covered in the book, which you guys should have been provided with, with O&M's panel control. I can switch rotation, toggle things. These are all the input terminals of the drive, what each function is, where the wires land. Again, this has all been programmed. We have output terminals, feedbacks back to the customers. Again, all been programmed for you guys. Special controls. Um, there's also a protection group. We program auto restarts. Uh, power ride through loss is all in that group. It's all been set up for you guys. There should be nothing in these parameter groups that you need to change or adjust. The only parameter that you should need to change or adjust is if you get into this setup menu and scroll to the right, that last parameter is your thermal protection. If you change a motor or a motor is bad and you need to change it, you have to adjust your full load amps on your nameplate to match that parameter. Again, hitting the escape to your output frequency, that brings you back to your main screen. You should always be with that light out. You should be in auto mode. All right, and again, when the light comes on, it's manual. So if this light is on and you go to your BMS in the front end and try and command this on, it will not start because it's in local and it's waiting to be started local. So it's important that this light is out. The drives are designed, anytime power goes off and power comes on, they automatically boot into auto mode. This way that if the power failure, it'll come back on and the BMS will come on and tell it what to do. All right, so that's basically the display in a nutshell.